long riders welcome to everything fly fishing or well, welcome back if this isn't your first time here if it's your first time here make sure you subscribe you don't miss any of our awesome videos we do the best tying videos and fishing videos on YouTube so though make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any have you seen these little annoying things around your house Yes, they're annoying. Yes, you try and get rid of them. You see them in the woods. They ruin your picnic. But another good, another thing on these things, trout love them. And we're going to teach you how to tie them things starting right now. We're going to start this fly with a standard 14 dry fly hook and black thread. And we're going to start the thread in the middle of the body. Now we want the back section to be a little bit bigger than the front section. So we're gonna take up some of that gap with the hackle on the middle. So what we're gonna do is just gonna spin our thread clockwise. And by spinning it, it'll take up more bulk. And we're gonna form, it's gonna start small and go up and get small again. And we're gonna build that body up. And we're gonna do it some fast time, watch this. Now I like to coat mine with some head cement, add a little bit of shine to that body like a regular ant. Wait till that dries and you want to make sure that's perfectly dry. Now you want to take a black hackle and tie it in right in front of where you finished that body. And you're only going to wrap this hackle around about three times. You don't need much to represent the legs of the ant. Now you're going to pull the hackle back, put some thread wraps in front of it, and then you're going to start the front part of the body and just make it, you know, make a hair smaller than the back, and you're just going to make it, you know, go small and big, and then right behind the eye, like a small lip, right behind the eye, the hook goes small again. So we're going to do that in quick time again. Now you're gonna put some whip finishes in this and you're gonna use the whip finishes to help build up the body. The last couple whip finishes. 
And then you're gonna head cement the front. And that's it, man. I hope you didn't blink during this video. This is a very easy fly to tie and it's killer. And we'll talk to you in here when we're after the end of this video to explain some more of this. Why you have to have this. What do you say we take a closer look at this killer ant pattern right now? All right, there you have it, the killer ant pattern. And now I wanted to tell you why we, I make sure these are in my box. Now the water's gonna start warming up here. We're in June here in PA. And some of your states probably might be too warm already to go out fishing for trout. So you're gonna hit the small streams like the spring creeks. And a lot of times they, in here in Pennsylvania, that's where you can find our native fish, the brook trout. And these things are killer, killer for brook trout in these small spring creeks. Um, you could put a grasshopper or a cricket on and then have this off the back. I mean, it's a great setup. It, it's amazing. But uh, for these little brook trout, these uh, ant patterns are amazing. And they, they work for bigger fish too. Um, it just seems like I have a lot of luck with them on the little creeks. Like the one out back. It's still cold enough to fish. and. I'll probably go out and use one of these as a dropper, off a dropper, a regular dry. Um, it helps me see the fly. And there's the thing, if you get one of these little black flies and you can't see it, you can uh, tail it off of a bigger dry fly and that'll give you a reference to where that little fly is. Uh, so that way you know, because a lot of times when you cast out, you can't see exactly where the fly is. You could have a six inch trailer off of another dry fly, and that way you can know exactly where that other fly is in reference to the bigger dry fly that you can see. And that'll help you out. That's what I do when I'm small fishing smaller flies. I'll use a bigger dry. Uh, let's say like right now, uh, the trichos are coming out. You could use a trico, and sulfurs are popping in, and, and uh, so is gray foxes. You can do a gray fox with a trico. A killer setup. And uh, so now that the water is low and clear, these ants are killer. And uh, she go out and fish some test trest royals. Um, a lot of times you can get tail water. And uh, we'll explain all the tail water thing in another video. And uh, I'm glad to be bringing videos to you. It's been a minute since I did a tying video. We had a computer failure, we had car failure. And so I'm really happy to be bringing this video, and I hope you guys are still st that stuck in with us that didn't leave yet. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching our material, and uh, hope you catch more fish through us. Matter of fact, you should definitely catch more fish if you have all tie all the videos we tied. So make sure you check them out. Our our playlists. Make sure you check them out. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of our awesome time videos. So thank you for being here and everything fly fishing. Keep your lines wet out of the trees and only give them fish a sore lip.